I can't believe we lost our RV. I, I'm sick to my stomach just thinking about it. I mean, not only was it our RV, it was our home. Stick around, we're gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> Yep, I didn't have any idea at the beginning of a journey in April of 2021 that this was going to lead to this. Yeah, it was really nice. I mean, when we moved in and started full-time RVing, a 29-foot Sunseeker, and decided we're going to head out west and uh, enjoy the sights. Live I mean, life, enjoy for today because yeah. we're not granted tomorrow. Yeah. Some yeah. of our top three destinations. What would you say? What's your What's your first thought? So the advantage of having the Class C was to be able to bring the Jeep, which was nice when we ended up in Moab, when we ended up in Monument Valley, when we ended up in, was the other one? Valley of the Gods. So imagine being able to bring our home, being able to take our Jeep, go to places, sneak into the places and go up those hills and all kind of things from Sedona to Schnobly Hill to it was phenomenal. That was that was the life. That was full time living. And you remember when we were in Sedona and that Schnebly Hill excursion oh, yeah. that you took me on and we were at the top of the butte coming down and we had no idea that it was gonna take us four and a half hours in our Jeep to get to the bottom and we were on cliffs. Yeah, that was a pretty hairy and scary trail. Probably a couple of miles. It takes you about 20 miles to go around Sedona to go on top of the hill from the highway. You're in t-shirt, you're freezing your butt because it's wicked cold. But as Pierre said that day. That's where it started. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Because I was not really looking forward to the journey going down that butte. Laurel is, is on the edge of her seat on her side because I took the road to make sure she was on the But I'm looking down. Side. The cliff, oh, yeah. down, out my window. Anyways. And that's when I told her, and that's where it came from. It's not about the destination, honey. It's all, it's about, all about, the about the journey. And that's what happened that day for about two miles of going downhill that she just said took four hours. But that we continued our journey. And so yeah. when he mentioned uh, Monument Valley, that was amazing. We were able to meet a beautiful couple out in Monument Valley. They took us hiking into places that the normal Joe just traveling through would never see. And thank you, Kashi and Javier, because uh, they have got a piece of our heart. And if you ever go to Monument Valley, reach out to us because we've got a family that you would love meeting. So that was special. We just got a picture. Two morning in the row. They had snow. They had snow. What? In Monument Valley, we never knew yeah. that it would snow there. It was 80 while we were there. So back to our subject, we did lose it. The Class C was, after six months, was becoming kind of a little bit smaller. It was doable. Yeah. We were good. Yeah, no, we enjoyed it. But for we're that living time being, full but, time now. Yeah. So now it was like, okay, you're used to that stick and brick, a little bit more room. So as we were before in the fifth wheel, we said, all right, let's go back to revisit as you may We've know. We've had three fifth wheels in our past. We've had two Montanas, we had a DRV. So we knew what we were possibly missing by having the Class C. So bought a pickup and then she starts shopping about different brands and models. And as you know, people who know us and follow us, we always go to RV shows. We always go to dealership. When we're on the road, when we're doing nothing, when it's snowing, like in Flagstaff, when it was snowing and we went to visit campers as we woke up in the morning with three inches of snow. Those are the kind of things that we constantly do. We like seeing different outfits set up that we can do. So Laurel being the geek on the phone and the Facebook stuff, which I'm not big on. I started of. researching hard. But one thing that really mattered to me was I have a Mr. Fix-It. He's a handyman, which is great. But we want to have a company that was going to back us up. And I felt like we found that in the RV that we chose, our new home that we were about to purchase. And for us, floor plan really matters. And like Pierre said, we go into a lot of RVs. This is what we do just for fun. We love doing that. 
and being in the Class C, the shower was difficult for him. He said uh, whenever he dropped the soap, he needed a soap on the rope because he changed the temperature with his butt. So he needed a larger shower. I need a rope on the soap, a soap on the, ro soap on the rope. Sorry for the Frenchman. So he needed a larger shower. And so that was one of our main things. We want a large shower. We found the floor plan that fit us. Okay, there's things that you've got to put your list down. See, there's two things we always look at. Shower, king size bed. For us. If that's maybe, us. Maybe your list, it's queen. But for us, it's king. And the shower. And me, four burner stove. And for me, no rug. I don't want any rug. So that's huge. And the other thing I don't like, I don't like a toe stubber. What's a toe stubber? Well, that's when you have that lip of your slide that, you know, is about this tall and you're in front of your kitchen sink and you're stubbing your toe every time you're there. To me, that doesn't work, but maybe it works for you. And some full timing, that's different also. We get yeah. acute on little things like this. It's like, you know, the king bed, yes, because we sleep together, but on the weekend might be okay for you. For me, look, she beats me if we're in a queen size, so we need a king he size. He should stay on his side of the bed. See? And who's on my side of the bed? Yeah, you remember that 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 picture we have hers and his? That's our bedroom, even on a king. So whatever. We're off the subject, but you got to find what you like. That's important. Your layout, your 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 toast stubber, your four burner. She walks in a camper, she looks at it, whoa, it's nope. beautiful. No four star no, I'm done. That's I know immediately. She, boom. But you've gotta have your list. So for for us, I had been researching the the make, the model, everything, the company, and we found the floor plan that fit. We went into many dealerships to sit in that same floor plan. It didn't matter. Every dealership we went to, from Florida to Vermont, well, there wasn't a dealership in Vermont, but we were going to Vermont, so we went to Wyndham, Maine. We found every dealership that had the floor plan we wanted. To see it over and over again from Ocala. Like so you now said, you know Maine. why yeah. it hurts that we lost our RV because it was our home. This is how much love and time we put into finding with the tissues. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, uh, it's about time. Yes, so we did choose. We found what was good for us and it was Alliance and our model, the 370 FB. We even had our granddaughter with us when we went to visit in Windham, Maine and we had a little chant. So no matter what we ever said, she would go 370 FB. She knew this floor plan was perfect was and it ours. was it was our That's home. That's not yours, but that it was fit us. our pleasure. Perfect for us. Yep. Walk-in closet, large shower, four burner stove, and a company that does the right thing. And they did the right thing for us. So we had to chase down. I'm a negotiator, as you may know by now. Uh, I don't deal much with BS. You so don't? I had to figure out an outfit where I would pick it up and the salesperson that I would deal with that I could negotiate with. And guess who found that person? Me, again, through my research. And I'm gonna give him a plug right here. RV Egan, anybody wants to deal with a good, honest to God, down to earth sales guy. I don't know if he's, he's honest. You're not man. taking that on my note. Ryan. He's just a nice guy, Ryan. Thank you. Speaking of that gap insurance thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't you know. know about well, gap. anyways, yeah. So talk about an amazing experience. We're so glad that we met him, but we drove to Texas and we decided while we were in Vermont. So we left Florida, we went to Vermont, we went to Wyndham, Maine, checked out units, left there, all the feelings, the vibes. No, nope, I told him, you got to call Ryan, RV Egan, and he did. And two days later, we made our deal and we started heading to Texas. So picked up the unit, came back down here in Florida, where we're based at, and we spent a year with the unit. Enjoyed our time. This was a cool time. We had the best unit. I did so many upgrades on this, you know, from drawers underneath to lithium batteries. So oh, we're in we the had... field. So we do a lot of things that's that's we yeah. had a nice little shoe caddy when you walk yep. through the door we we made it fun for you know when we have our grandkids listen we have a slew of grandkids so when we go to vermont and quebec we have um we can't count them you need both hands and a foot 
to count all the grandkids. No kidding. So we had plenty of room in there to have five, six of them spending the night at one time, which I loved. That was, yeah, they don't call me Gigi for nothing. So as you can see, you know, this is this is definitely our home. We've we've made it our home and it's cozy and it's exactly what fits our lifestyle. We typically will go out in the summertime out of Florida because we can't live here. We're from up north, so we can't live in the heat. So head our way to the Hershey Show, Pennsylvania. The 2022 Hershey, Pennsylvania Show. So we're going there, we're tending floor, we're helping out the Alliance people also. We're there as our YouTube meet people. And so I get into the Alliance booth again, and oh, I see this full body paint. That but let's wheel. back up though, honey. Okay. You gotta remember, on the way up, we just have little conversations here and there. I mean, the conversation is, um, well, yeah, I miss you, my Jeep. What do you miss about that, a Class C? Thing. What do you yeah. love about a Class A? What do you not love about a fifth wheel? But Those conversations that we have. So I miss my Jeep constantly. Uh, the pickup is cool, but it takes forever to unhook and blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking, yeah. And the, the Jeep pickup's is more expensive. Powerful. And it we cost, bought that yeah, in, the in the wrong time. time. So, yeah. so there's the burden also. So, yeah, she's right. Those conversations we're having, but we end up at the show. I fall in love with that full body paint. I looked at her and I says, all right, uh, I want this now. This 372. 382, 382 RK, RK Alliance in Beautiful. full body paint. Oh, he fell in love to the point where I thought, oh, there we go. I got to move. Yeah. So, I had to bring him back down. That night, we came back, we got in our recliners, and I said, honey, this is home. I'm comfortable here. I love my home. My 370 FB is cozy. And yes, we did lose it. But long story short, we're in inspection, and we have calls while we're at the show in Pennsylvania. We book some, some things in Florida. We also book some things in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Indiana, I told all... Indiana. Well, let's yeah. Drive to Indiana. Let's head out let's to go Indiana. To Alliance. We've so never been there. This, we're gonna have this unit refurbished, reput on top notch after a year. A couple of things that I found. We got in there, as you may have seen some of our video. We toured the plant. And we'll link that video above. They got us in there a day in the shop, and and, and those people are phenomenal. They changed everything. They took care of everything. So the, kudos to Alliance. They the, were the proudness awesome. of yep. these employees, it's it's phenomenal. Unless you experience it, it's even it's hard to convey that yep. feeling. Yeah. No, the, 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 there's really a sense of proudness in there. So that was that was the reason why we also bought it. So long story short, we get out of there, do our inspection, and then okay. Uh, we're on our way back down south. We got inspection lined up in Florida, so we got to go back. But we can't go back, because guess what? Hurricane Ian is hitting Daytona. And where do we live? I know you heard about Tampa. Daytona. Yeah, that got flooded 10 foot. Yes, I understand. But if you have not nobody, checked YouTube videos on what happened in Daytona, Daytona it was. you got to go look at the video footage of this, because we're blown away yeah. at what happened. So the, the drama that ended up being, uh, I said to Lowell, all right, we're going to park our, the, the idea coming down was we're going to park our fifth wheel here. We'll get rid of the truck. We'll leave it parked on our site, the, the trailer. And then Ian hit as we're talking about this, trying to find plan for the future. Now, anybody that knows me, I live in Florida, but I'm from Vermont. So the minute I hear of a hurricane, I'm out of here. I'm out of here a week before anybody else is on the highway evacuating. All of my friends that are in Florida laugh at me because I'm the first one to leave. And Shami, yes, you always say, it's just a big rain cloud. Well, you know what? Those rain clouds scare me, and I don't want to be stranded here. Bring snowstorm. We were brought so up in I snowstorm. Said, I can drive in that. We can live in that. That's fine. But We considered selling the truck and just leaving the trailer here and being full time, but what if a hurricane hits? And Ian's hitting now. I want to be out of here. We can't be stranded. Yeah. So we get back to Daytona and we see all the destruction around us. And uh, we decided we better go check on Pierre's tractor trailer. Because if you don't know, he's a trucker. We have a trucking business. And that is the mothership. That is our main business. So we go down and we check on his tractor and trailer. And it had been flooded. 
the entire place that he had actually stored his truck and trailer was flooded. As a matter of fact, when it got towed away, and that was really hard, watching his truck and trailer just, it looked like it was floating away, but it's being hauled away by a wrecker. It was just kind of like a really sad ending, but you know they pulled five gallons of water off his engine? Five gallons of water. That's just, it's just, it's mind boggling. So looking at that leave is like the book of your life, a chapter is turning and that's that thing leaving. So, all right. That's a hard pill to swallow. So you got to turn around and instead of doing this part-time, you do this full-time, let's redo a business. We've done this a couple of times already. So you adapt with the flow, you plan your work and you work your plan. So that's what we did. Rolled up a sleeve, again, build something. Time Some... to get our hands dirty in those yeah. inspections. Yeah, so now, as you may know by now, I mean, this is, now it's full time, it's even overwhelming. A lot of people are starting to realize where we're at also and you need an inspection. So it, it becomes a, a full, full body train, it's like a big train coming in every day. So, but so now we're, we're managing through this. But so I'm on Facebook one morning and I'm just scrolling Facebook, drinking our coffee, and I'm in an Alliance Facebook group. Here's another chapter of our life. And uh, there was a woman in there and she had just lost her 370 FB to Hurricane Ian. Isn't he nice? Ian came blowing through and destroyed her home. And so she was just reaching out there saying, if anybody is looking to sell their 370 FB, my husband and I have lost everything and we want the same exact model. So I'm just scrolling and I said to Pierre, oh gosh, this poor lady, she and her husband just lost their 370 FB and they're looking to buy another one and hoping to get someone's used unit. He looks at me and he goes, tell her it's for sale. I said, what? Tell her it's for sale. What's for sale? That's my house. He says, throw the number out. Just tell her it's for sale. Hey, if they're gonna give me my money, for me it was fine, it was, hey, listen, I know what I've put in it, I know the structure, I know what I've done with it, I know where I'm at. If they're willing to pay this because they see the value in what we have, perfect, kudos. I was scared. I sent her a message, instant reply. Can we come see it tomorrow? Seriously. Tomorrow? Boom. Okay, they did. So, Shirley and Bob, came and paid us a little visit the next day. And uh, she walked in and immediately said, I love it. Wow, it's beautiful. Um, my decorations might not be her taste. She doesn't really like uh, ocean taste, ocean theme. She doesn't really like ocean theme, but she loved it anyways. <sighs> they left. I was a little sick to my stomach because you know when the wife wants something? Happy wife, happy life, happy spouse, happy house. She wanted it. So the next day, they called us and said, all right, we're doing this. Handshake. Woo. Okay. Uh, Out. You, you, uh, uh, okay, we, we live full time. Yeah, we don't have oh, sticks don't and worry. bricks. Don't worry. You remember, Bob? Don't worry. You got about three, four weeks. It'll all work out just fine. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> we, uh, we live in there. There's a lot to move out of there. But not and, only that, and, it's our home. And to find something else. So, I, I, I can't put an order in Alliance to get another unit. Now I wanted my full body paint. Uh, but okay, that ain't that happening. That just can't happen overnight like that. So all right, let's try to shop for something else meanwhile. And, and, and now we're starting pedaling. I mean, we're like freaking ducks on water. You don't see us pedaling on the knee because we seem like we're floating like this, but. There was too many moving parts Ooh. in our life from losing the truck and the trailer to we want to sell the Ford to we can't sell the Ford to we're getting rid of our 370 FB, but we're getting rid of a Ford. What are we going to do? So we, we had to find something. We haven't to have an inspection in Tampa in uh, Laura's going to link them above. That was a beautiful London Air unit. And as we're there, we talk to the salesperson and we tell them, listen, we, we've seen these units before. Do you have something? No, we don't have nothing here, but let me find you something. I think the next day, the day after she called. She, she called says, the next I, day. I found you I found something. the model that you're looking for. 
Well, the model we're looking for, just because, remember, we know floor plans. We've seen a lot of them. And I'm thinking, well, what if? You know, we've looked at them before, but that's a dream five years down the road. So we can't afford new anyway, but so we went backwards in years and we actually inspected a couple of units of that model and says, all right, well, now we finally found this one. She says, I found you one in Kentucky. If you want to have it brought down, it's cool. So we had to give them a refundable deposit yep. and told them that we needed to inspect it. And that was the only way that they'd bring it down from Kentucky. And they did. They brought it down from Kentucky and we went over and we inspected that unit. As a matter of fact, we'll link that above. And that was for a customer. I state in there, it is for a customer. We paid ourselves. Exactly. We are our own customers, right? So I paid myself good money because I figured it's me. So, and I gave her a little bit. She cooked meal that night anyway. I so was going to say, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. the one that really yeah. benefited from it because you got the cooked meal. Yeah. Yes. I see how that goes. That's how it goes every day. She's sick of cooking dinners and lunch and yeah. So that's what happened. So we finally found that unit and then it's, it's not done. I know the story is long, but uh, then you got to transfer. You got to find a way to, uh, okay, you got to deliver this and oh, there's never a rush. Take your time, but hurry up. You know what I mean? So that's exactly And this is what during happened. the holiday. So at the time, Bob and Shirley were not too concerned because they wanted to be able to be in their unit right after Christmas because that's when it starts for them. They live in a northern climate. They wanted to be able to come down and be able to enjoy that summer feeling even though it's winter somewhere else. So after Christmas was perfect for them. But for us, it's like, uh, but who knows how long it takes us to find something. So if it f happens quickly, Perfect. It's all going to come together. Their only stipulation was we don't want it to happen during the week of Thanksgiving. Guess what? That's exactly yeah. when it was all coming together was during that time because we found the unit. It all worked out. Oh, and then Nicole hit as the deal's done and they're waiting on their camper. So we actually left the East Coast and ran to the West Coast to try to be under Nicole to not get flooded, scared the bejesus out of us. Yes, because we're over Shirley, there and the camper's going like this. And <laughs> Shirley's oh. texting, hey, did you know that Nicole is about to hit Daytona? We all yes, left. we're going to take your baby and we're going to head south down to where they lost their first one. And we're going to go hide out at our friends who still had debris everywhere. Oh. We're hidden and tucked into this little area. Inglewood. I have never felt anything like that never want to live that they stated again at three in my life o'clock in the morning that the wind was going to pick up at uh 250 the, the wind started picking up we woke up we watched the weather on the tv we didn't lose power and that was it we never slept again i mean that we kept thing wondering was what's coming through the window are oh, we going to yeah. get hit with a two by four somebody's shingles we so that you was guys not... who live down <laughs> here and think that it's nothing i'm happy for you that's how you see it well i i i don't believe in luck that much that i will pick up my stuff and leave every time that one of them is coming i am not chancing this sorry like i said bring on winter storm i used to drive in there three winter storms a week up north in vermont quebec not an issue. Tornadoes, hurricane, see ya. So we brought it back and we started packing. So we had to start packing and living out of boxes. And I mean, for me, when I'm going to move out of a place and you're going to move in, it's going to be immaculate to the point where you don't need to clean it. You will but I'm going to make sure. So every time I unloaded a cupboard, washed it out, I put a sticky note. Nothing goes back in here. Shirley, how many sticky notes did you have in the camper? In every cupboard. <laughs> I did hope I up? finally got them out of there. I did leave a little note, but um, I wanted to make sure that it was perfect for them when they're moving in. Not like when you pick it up at a dealership and you still have all the residue of screws and sawdust and everything, you know. Styrofoam, <laughs> everything. Screws. Yeah. But I mean, we went through, Pierre was up, he was actually cleaning the ACs, the filters, making sure that the AC system was working perfect for Bob and Shirley. He was going up on the roof, he cleaned the roof, he wanted to make sure that if he had any little pinholes that needed sealant, because he's anal when it comes to the roof, and he knew that Bob's not going to want to get up on there. He wanted to make sure that that was perfect for them. Believe me, the best unit on the market, they ended up with it. There's not a dealership in the nation that would deliver a unit like we did to them. So they did a good deed yeah. by getting our rig. Our rig. 
uh, for us it gave us another chapter in our life to turn and fast forward I guess to this unit which wasn't planned at all so see that's what happens in life so you never know so well it doesn't that come to it's not about the destination it's about the journey so when I tell you we had a lot to pack up you don't realize how much you actually bring into your RV I mean that 370 FB has the most amazing closet it is a walk-in closet as a matter of fact I've got a video that I'm gonna link above about organizing <laughs> your closet but I really preach it and I was starting to really cram a lot of stuff in there that I forgot was even in there. So you should really go back to, you take one in, you bring one out. I don't always do that. So as I'm packing, Pierre is organizing and taking it out and taking it to a storage unit because yes, we had to have a storage unit because we couldn't leave any of the boxes in the RV. It had because to happen like this. The minute we deliver this, we're gonna be way down in the southern tip of Florida and we can't be bringing boxes in our truck to go get our RV. So, you know, we worked really well as a team. I packed, he loaded, took it to, you know, home. She cooks, I eat, you know, we're a team. It's, a, it's a really good team. Yeah. Well, you do help with the dishes though. I, I have get, to give you that. He I takes get my the garbage clothes out. dirty, she washes it. No, no, no we're really Basically, yeah, team. yeah, I do everything. You're right. So in this particular case though, you were a really good help, I have to say, because he took everything to Goodwill, including stuff I don't even know. I know darn well there are things I'm going to say, where's this? And, well, it must be in the storage shed. But not only do we have everything that's in the back of the closet, but we have a business, right? So I've got all the files and we have an office that is set up. So what files do I need? Where do I put that? I mean, there were certain things that needed to be packed up, but yet needed to stay with us. So we're living out of the back of the truck and out of basically a duffel bag because we didn't even have a suitcase. So this is how it all comes down to the nitty gritty, down to the wire before delivering this unit. So coming down to those last few boxes in a duffel bag and uh, carrying them to the truck and knowing that this is the last time we slept in our home. It was really bittersweet for me. And I will tell you, true honest tears, and to this day, it hurts me because there's this family, family, that you are a part of when you own an alliance. And uh, these friendships and acquaintances that we have built along the way, like, I felt like I was losing them. It's kind of like, almost like you got a divorce, but you really loved your in-laws and you, you're losing them. It's, it's kind of a strange feeling, but honestly. It's not like that at all. <laughs> not for him, for me. I still talk to those people. They're still nice people. They're still good people. And uh, no, I, I even know the owners I, uh, of Alliance and we got to get a Which relationship. we love them. It's just people. This is not, it, it's, it's, but it becomes, uh, it, it is a big family. I, Listen, see, I, I know what she said. You see how tough he is? He's a hard ass. He's really smushy, honestly. He's just gonna do this for camera. Honestly, for me, I'm just gonna put this wall right here. It hurts me. I yeah. still care. That's all I'm gonna say. So that morning, I'm watching him. He's hooking it up. I'm standing there. And now there's <sighs> logistic because she's saying that morning, so we gotta 6 leave. 6 a.m. We gotta get there, which is... How many hours did we have to drive? Oh, five and a half, four and a half hours, whatever it so was. So we've got a long drive just to get there. Take time there, set it up there, because that was the agreement yeah, I had Yeah, we Bob. promised that we're gonna set right, him up. I'm gonna set you up, it's gonna be parked at your place, and there's a little post, and I had to twingle it around, so it was perfect, right where yeah. you wanted it. Thank you, you're happy. Now I gotta drive another two and a half hours to get back to our new unit to us back in Tampa. So we're gonna sleep there that night because there's no way I'm coming back to my site three hours away on, on the Daytona, the East Coast. We come pulling in that on that two happen. wheels that night at six o'clock at night into yep. the dealership. Oh yeah, the fence and... was closed and it's fine, just go there. So we ended up sleeping there. And by the way, my pickup that I delivered with, I was losing that too that day, so not a big deal so to you, but for me it was part nothing. of the trade. <laughs> so that was it. I was leaving there with this unit but and letting go another chapter. So there was, there's been a lot of chapter in our book yeah. written since the last three, four that months. That was a lot.
But not only that, so we're getting to what is going to be new to us, RV, filthy, dirty. Okay, I don't know about you, how you are, but I am not going to use that toilet. And I am not going to put my clean food out of my cooler in somebody else's grubby, dirty refrigerator. And, and I'm going to have... This was clean. This was actually clean. Yep, yeah, but, but it's still... Miss, miss, it's... Miss, miss Mr. Clean here, she, she's Mr. Net... Mr. Clean's husband. So before we could go to bed, now granted, I'd already packed my clean sheets, my clean bedding and all of that. So we made the bed. We knew we were going to have a nice clean place to lay our head. But I started right away. First thing, I'm washing the toilets. I'm washing out that fridge. I'm going to get it so that I can feel good when I wake up in the morning and have coffee. At least feeling that I woke up in the Hilton to begin with because the pictures on the wall are not my decor. It, I don't know where I am. I want to at least feel I have some sort of cleanliness around me. But it was exhausting to say the least to start at 6 a.m. for the drive. We were up by five for sure. And then not even get to this unit until six o'clock at night. I don't think we went to bed till about 11. It was an exhausting day for sure. So waking up in the morning, feeling you're in the Hilton. Well, we weren't in the Hilton. We were in a 2017 Fleetwood Discovery 40E. And now it was going to have to become our new home. So we are going to actually share with you soon so watch for those some videos on the renovations because walking in here was incredibly dark it looked like a dreary motel six Hilton yeah. type of deal we went from so, a bright yeah. light 2022 brand new rv to a 2017 dark and dull interior so make sure to follow us and if you haven't subscribed yet do so please Ring that bell, notify yourselves when we, have, when we have something new. And leave us a comment. And if you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. So on that note, remember, hope you enjoyed the trip, but now you're part of our book. So what's the next chapter? We'll see. So on this note, remember, and do never forget, it has nothing to do with the destination. It's all about the journey.